All right. So we're going to start with this one says, hey, guys, I have a question related to ranking of the individual post or page. When I order link building, I generally submit all my syndication networks, ID page and power shield, uh, SEO shield properties, etc. But how to target a single post that I want to pull onto page one? How do I hit a single post which cannot rank all of my competitors? Please suggest. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you a really simple rundown, a quick rundown. Take notes. It's uh, it's actually quite easy. Well, there's a, there's several things you could do. Um, First of all, if the post has been submitted or syndicated out to your syndication network, so you published it and it's syndicated out to your branded syndication network, go to all of your syndication network properties and extract or copy that file, the post URL of that particular post, right? So the, the, the version of that post that's been published on Blogger, Tumblr, WordPress, you know, all of the places that it's been republished to, grab the URL from those profiles, right? Those web 2.0 profile properties where that post is published, right? Put that into a notepad file or text file that will be part of your target URL file. Um, several other things that you can do. So, so remember, grab the URLs from all the platforms that give you a separate post URL for that. Okay. Add that to your target URL list for a link building gig. You can also, if you, if it's part of a GMB, like if, if a Google My Business, if it's part of a local project that has a Google My Business attached to it, you can also publish a GMB post that links to that blog post that you want to um, promote. Um, and then you can take the GMB post URL, preferably the one that's on the GMB website, not just the post share URL. But like if you go to the GMB website, you'll see that the posts are part of the website as almost like an inner page of the GMB website. Take that URL, put that in your target URL file, publish a press release that has got one link in the press release pointing to the, pre, uh, pub, the post or page that you wanna promote on your site. So the press release is gonna have one link in it only and that's to the post that you're trying to promote. That in itself is gonna help that post, but then now you've got the press release URLs from the press release report where it shows where all of the press, uh, where your where the press release was picked up and republished. Now you've got that entire list of press release URLs that you can now add as a uh, as part of your target URL list. If you've got an SEO power shield, which you say you have, you could also create an inner page on your G site, right, and embed the blog post or the page, whatever is it. I think you said it's a blog post, but whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to promote, that one post that you're trying to promote, you can embed that into your G site page. Um, and then you can add that G site URL to your link building target URL list. Likewise, you can also take all of the post URLs that I just talked about from your web 2.0 properties and embed those into that same G site page. Does that make sense? So your G site page could have all of the, the, the same article basically, the same page or post um, embedded multiple times, but from different platforms. Does that make sense? And you could also take the, like I would just use the press advantage press release URL, not like all of them. I would just take the press advantage press release URL for that sp specific press release and embed that into the G site page. Does that make sense? You've got, you could, by the way, you can also take the GMB post URL from the GMB website and embed that. So now all of you've got all these specific properties that are, um, you know, just a republishing of the original post that you're trying to promote, but it's on all of these other platforms and you can embed all of those into the G site page. Every one of those separate URLs become part of your target URL file. The G site page becomes part of your target URL file. Uh, like I said, press release URLs, all of that stuff. So it's very, very powerful. And then lastly, you can take, uh, Again, that your, your top, like what I would suggest doing is, for example, your WordPress blogger and Tumblr, uh, press, the Press Advantage press release, uh, the GMB post URL. There's five right there. Go get a map or excuse me, a, GM, uh, a MGYB embed gig. Just use the general embeds because there's a few different options. Just go to general embeds. And now you've got five embeds that you could create from those WordPress blogger, Tumblr, Word uh, syndication network properties, right? So you just take the URL from the post that was republished, uh, turn it into an embed code, an iframe. Now you've got three there, then the GMB post URL and the press advantage um, uh, press release. 
So you got five more press or five more, and there's five embed codes there, which you can submit up to five embed codes for any one embed gig order. Um, and I would do that too. So you've got a, a target URL list for link building. Now you've also got your, you know, your, your embed, embed um, iframes that you can use for an embed gig that then you can build links to the embed gig properties, right? So right there is a perfect way to get really, really good results when you have a specific post. So guys, this applies to any of you. If you've got a particular keyword that you're trying to push uh, and you've you know, had a, a well-written post or page on the site, um, you can do the same thing that I'm talking about, right? And, and, and get some really good push out of it that way. Anybody want to comment on that? Yeah, because he's talking about a single post, mm -hmm. right? That he wants to pull into page one. What's the competition? What, I, I mean, I'll go back to the, 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 the example we always give with the guy wanting to go after, uh, what it was a personal injury or DUI attorney, Toronto, major metropolitan city with what, over a million people. I, I don't know how many are in the Toronto metropolitan area, but it was, I mean, it's huge. You're not going to get a post for DUI attorney, Toronto, anywhere near page one, just a single post. If you go through our stacking method, the PR stacking method, the, po the, 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 the GMB stacking method, and you point everything at the page that you're trying to raise, how you set up that whole stack, which is what you were just discussing. You were just discussing all of the different stacks that, that lead to that one post, but that post may not be enough to go after that, that, well, let's call it an entity, right? To go after that keyword that you're trying to target. It could be that it takes a long form page with additional content, with supporting posts, with stacking the posts the way, the way that we teach, teach it a little bit differently now, but that's only taught in the heavy hitter club. I'm not gonna get into that here. You would, and then again, we mirror, you do the G site, you do your post, you do your, your press releases, and you, then you let Dedia, Add it because Daddy is an animal. He just hammered until it submits. But the only way that this is going to go through effectively is if you set everything up effectively. Bradley talked about extensions on your G site. Bradley talked about all the different URLs. Bradley talked about embeds. So all of these methods are valid, but you have to pump up your page rank and your ranking score so that it becomes worthwhile for Google to rank this in, on page one. Above all, above, above all others that it could rank on page one. So think of it. So if you're talking about millions of pages that are competing for that, for that top 10 spot on page one, then that's the type of work that you have to do. So you have to think about the, the work that's involved for what you're trying to do and whether hammering that post is going to be enough, whether you've done enough work, whether you've supported it enough, whether there's enough relevance, right? Activity, relevance, trust, and authority for Google to take that, that, that post into account and rank it. That's true. And some of the other things to add to that, to even add a little bit more power is, you know, if it's a, uh, I'm, I'm just assuming it's a post, but you know, it could be a page either way, depending, you know, if it's a page, you could actually set up a category for it on, if it's a WordPress site that is published on, and then you could publish supporting articles under that category. Right. And so that those would syndicate out to your network as well. And then, Again, you go, ex and, and what I'm saying is from your blogging underneath that category. And if it's, if it's not, if it's not a page and you don't want to make it a category as well, you could also do like, so for example, if it's a post that you're trying to promote over, over a page, you could do it with tags. You could take your primary keyword and add that as a tag to that page. And then every single, then you could publish additional posts that share that same tag, but the internal link from those additional supporting posts is only one internal link and that's to link back up to the page or the post that you're trying to promote, that you're trying to rank. And so for each supporting article that you uh, publish, now you've got a specific set of supporting articles that are also syndicating out to your network to give you a whole nother list of target URLs for each one of those supporting posts. So you can power up each one of those supporting posts, which will ultimately because of the one link and all of those posts that go up to the pages you're trying to promote, it's all going to flow through that up to that one page that you're trying to promote. And that's how you can add that additional topical relevancy. You can add more depth to that topic, if that makes sense. 
Um, because again, as Marco said, sometimes one page or post isn't enough. And there's a ton of additional ninja things that I know I can't share here because Marco would be pissed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, you know, you could do all kinds of stuff with um, anchor links or jump links, all kinds of crazy stuff that you can do that, to really power up that one page or post that you're trying to, to rank. Um, and, it, and again, it comes back to building it all out and then, and, uh, you know, adding the, the silo structure that we do. What, and it doesn't have to be like a traditional silo on the website, right? You could make like a, a, a keyword specific silo just through the way that you do the internal linking. And then extract all those URLs and all of from the web, you know, all your your tier one entity assets where it's been republished. Extract all those URLs and create link building uh, target URL lists from that. Um, and then again, also embed gigs. And you can really power something up that way. Works great.